Iranian military officials have made bold claims about their nation's capabilities, stating that they now have a comprehensive understanding of Israel's defense systems and strategies to penetrate them. This suggests that Iran is preparing to employ new tactics in any future confrontations with Israel. These declarations are not mere threats. Iran currently possesses the most extensive and diverse arsenal of ballistic and cruise missiles in the Middle East, with thousands at their disposal. One of the latest additions to Iran's missile arsenal is the Fatah missile, which translates to conqueror in Persian. The Fatah missile comes in two versions, starting with the Fatah-1, a medium-range hypersonic ballistic missile. This is Iran's first ballistic missile capable of reaching up to 1,400 kilometers while carrying a warhead weighing 450 kilograms. Following the Fatah-1 is the Fatah-2, an advanced version of Iran's hypersonic missile technology. This variant combines a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, with a hypersonic cruise missile, HCM. Although its exact range remains classified, some sources suggest that the Fatah 2 slightly surpasses its predecessor, potentially reaching up to 1,500 kilometers with the same payload. However, ongoing enhancements aim to extend its range even further, potentially up to 2,000 kilometers. What sets the Fatah 2 apart is its superior maneuverability, designed to evade missile defense systems more effectively. This missile boasts a speed of Mach 14, or 15 kilometers per hour, meaning it could reach Israel in approximately seven minutes. Additionally, Iranian claims assert that the Fatah 2 can penetrate advanced anti-missile defenses, including Israel's renowned Iron Dome. The most concerning aspect for Israel and the West is the Fatah 2's alleged capability to carry a nuclear warhead theoretically posing a catastrophic threat to Tel Aviv. Both versions of the Fatah missile underwent their first tests in late 2023. However, Iran has not yet deployed the Fatah 2 in combat, even during its strikes against Israel in April 2024. Another advanced missile in Iran's arsenal is the Kibar Shikan, a third-generation medium-range ballistic missile which is often described as a new and significant evolution in missile development. The missile's name, Kaybar Shekan, is a reference to the Battle of Kaybar, where a fortress near Medina, once held by Jewish tribes, was conquered by Muslim forces. When it comes to specifications, the Kaybar Shekan missile is powered by solid fuel and is notably lighter than similar missiles. It has an operational range of approximately 1,450 kilometers with a striking speed of Mach 5, or around 6,000 kilometers per hour, while carrying a warhead weighing up to 500 kilograms. One of its key advantages is its compact design, which makes it smaller than other missiles in its class. The Kbar Shikan is also highly versatile in its launch capabilities, the missile can be deployed from various types of launchers, including those mounted on a commercial 10-wheel chassis, allowing it to be disguised as a civilian vehicle. This adaptability enhances its survivability and operational flexibility. Additionally, the missile's warhead is equipped with small aerodynamic fins, enabling it to maneuver effectively and evade many traditional air defense systems. Since its unveiling in 2022, the Kbar Shikan has seen active use. In early 2024, Iran deployed this missile in strikes against ISIS positions in northwestern Syria. However, these strikes served a dual purpose, not only targeting extremist groups, but also sending a clear message to Israel and its Western ally, the United States, about Iran's advancing missile capabilities and strategic intentions. Among Iran's cruise missile arsenal, the Abu Mahdi missile stands out, named after Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, 
a close associate of General Qasem Soleimani, both of whom were killed in a U.S. airstrike in 2020. This missile is specifically designed for use by the Iranian Navy. The Abu Mahdi missile boasts several significant advantages, including precision strikes, destructive power, and stealth features that enable it to bypass enemy air defenses. One of its most notable capabilities is its range, which extends over 1,000 kilometers. This range is a significant improvement, tripling the reach of its predecessors, the Rod and Qadir missiles. The missile's ability to evade air defenses and avoid radar detection is largely due to its low-altitude flight path, making it a formidable threat. Although primarily deployed on naval destroyers, the Abu Mahdi missile is versatile enough to be launched from land-based platforms as well. It carries a substantial warhead of 410 kilograms, which is exceptionally large for a cruise missile. This payload enables the missile to destroy various maritime targets, including frigates and destroyers, by striking from multiple angles. The introduction of the Abu Mahdi missile significantly enhances Iran's ability to target strategic locations deep within Israel's territory, extending the reach and impact of Iran's naval capabilities. The Yimad missile is another crucial component of Iran's missile arsenal, representing a significant advancement in its medium-range ballistic missile capabilities. The AMAD is a liquid-fueled missile and is considered a derivative of the Shahab-3 missile, with a key difference being its redesigned nose cone. This missile is highly capable, able to carry a payload of 750 kilograms over a distance of up to 1,700 kilometers at a speed of around 7,500 kilometers per hour. The EMAD features a sophisticated guidance and control system housed within its nose cone, providing it with an impressive accuracy of within 50 meters of its target. The new nose cone design also allows the warhead to detonate at a high altitude, making it more suitable for delivering chemical, biological, or nuclear payloads. One of the most notable features of the EMAD missile is that it is the first Iranian ballistic missile equipped with a maneuverable re-entry vehicle, MARV. This type of warhead is specifically designed to deliver a nuclear payload to its target with high maneuverability, allowing it to evade missile defenses that attempt to intercept it. The Khorramshahr missile is one of Iran's most formidable ballistic missiles, designed with a longer range than the Ahmad missile. Named after the Iranian city of Khorramshahr, a key battleground during the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s, this missile underscores Iran's commitment to bolstering its long-range strike capabilities. Initially tested as a medium-range ballistic missile, the Khorramshahr is often described as Iran's version of North Korea's Hwasong-10, or Musudan missile. While the Musudan is estimated to have a range between 2,500 and 4,000 kilometers, the Khorramshahr's range is approximately 2,000 kilometers. Despite its relatively shorter range, the Khorramshahr has been modified to be smaller and more tactical. This reduction in size has not diminished its firepower. The missile can carry a warhead weighing up to 1.8 tons and still achieve speeds up to Mach 16. The Khorramshahr is particularly notable for carrying the heaviest payload among Iran's ballistic missiles. This design choice appears intentional, keeping the missile's range within 2,000 kilometers, which allows it to target a wide array of regional adversaries while remaining within strategic limits. One of the missile's standout features is its ability to evade radar detection and penetrate enemy air defenses making it a significant threat in the region. The Khorramshahr has evolved into four variants, with the latest, the Khorramshahr-4, or Khaibar missile, reportedly capable of reaching most of the Middle East. Good. 
The Sigil missile is another cornerstone of Iran's ballistic missile program. This missile is 18 meters long, 1.25 meters in diameter, and weighs 23.6 tons at launch. It can carry a payload of around 700 kilograms and has an operational range of 2,000 kilometers. The Sigil missile comes in two versions, Sigil-1 and Sigil-2. The Sigil-1, first tested in 2008, is a solid-fueled, two-stage, surface-to-surface, medium-range ballistic missile. The solid fuel reduces the missile's launch time and enhances its mobility, making it more difficult to counteract. The Sigil-2, an upgraded version, boasts an extended range of up to 2,500 kilometers. Reports indicate that Iran is also developing the Sigil-3, which could have a maximum range of 4,000 kilometers and a launch weight of 38 tons. This would place critical military installations in Israel and U.S. bases in the region well within its reach, underscoring the missile's strategic significance. Named after General Qasem Soleimani, who was killed in a U.S. airstrike in 2020, the Hajj Qasem missile is a symbol of Iran's ongoing missile development in the face of international pressure. This ballistic missile is specifically designed to target Israeli-occupied Palestinian territories, representing a new generation of the Fateh 110 missile. In terms of specifications, the Hajj Qasem missile is 11 meters long, weighs approximately 7 tons, and can carry a warhead weighing up to 500 kilograms. The missile is capable of reaching a top speed of Mach 12, with an impact speed of Mach 5. Its range is estimated to be around 1,400 kilometers, but it has the potential to be extended to between 1,700 and 1,800 kilometers. The missile's design focuses on overcoming missile defense systems, ensuring that it can penetrate and deliver its payload effectively.